Hello, my name is Michael Ivaliotis and welcome to another VI Shots tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to quickly get started with the LabVIEW interface for Arduino. The Arduino is a programmable microcontroller board that has several analog inputs and digital I.O. lines. The Arduino language is text-based and is used to create embedded programs called sketches, which you download to the board. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the LabVIEW interface and not so much on the sketches themselves. The Arduino's claim to fame is that all of the hardware and software is open source. You can even build your own Arduino board from published designs. But most people purchase one of the ready-made boards. The Arduino has a USB interface used for programming the device and reading data from it. The Arduino works both on the Mac or the PC. There are quite a few daughter boards on the market that you can plug into the Arduino. These are nicknamed Shields. For example, there's an Ethernet interface, XB wireless, Bluetooth module, motor control module, CAN bus interface, GPS receiver, video output, and hundreds of others. There's a company out of Italy that has taken on the task uh, and business of building a standard series of boards. Every so often they rev the boards to add minor improvements. They currently produce two flavors of the board. There's the Uno, which is around $30, and then there's the Mega 2560 at around $65. The main difference between the boards are the number of I.O. lines and memory. Both boards have digital I.O. lines. The Uno has 14 digital I.O., which six of which can be PWM outputs. The Mega has 54 digital I.O., 14 of which can be PWM outputs. The Uno has six analog inputs, and the Mega has 16 analog inputs. Both boards have 10-bit resolution analog in uh, between 0 and 5 volts. The UNO has 32K programmable memory and the, two, and the MEGA has 256K programmable memory. Both boards have SPI interfaces which can interface to other devices and both have I2C interfaces as well. The LabVIEW interface for Arduino is a VI-based API that was written and distributed by National Instruments. The code also includes an Arduino embedded program which must be downloaded to the device. The program which runs on the Arduino responds to commands sent on the USB bus from the LabVIEW program. It then sends back data to the computer via the USB. The LabVIEW VIs provided allow you to read back the analog inputs, control the digital I.O. lines, and use several other features of the Arduino hardware. Unlike other software provided by National Instruments, the LabVIEW interface for Arduino is currently only supported by the NI.com communities section of the website. You can get more information at NI.com slash Arduino. There are several requirements for using the Arduino with LabVIEW. First of all, you have to have at least LabVIEW 2009 or newer. You must have the NI Visa drivers installed. You must have the LabVIEW interface for Arduino VI package installed with VI Package Manager. Of course, you need the Arduino drivers if you're using uh, Windows. If you're using Mac, you don't actually need the drivers. And you need the Arduino IDE software. You can tell if your Arduino is connected correctly and the drivers are installed properly. If you go into Device Manager, you should see under your ports, you should see the Arduino Uno show up as a COM port. In my case, it's showing up as COM2 but you can change the COM port by going into the device properties. Under Measurement and Automation Explorer, this same COM port should show up under Serial and Parallel under Devices and Interfaces. Here we can see COM2. And also under Software, you should be able to see your NI Visa with a version number. In my case, it's 5.0.3, which is the current version. Finally, if you have your Arduino IDE software installed, you should be able to load it up and it looks something like this. And here I've opened uh, the LabVIEW uh, interface for Arduino sketch program that's required to be downloaded to the Arduino. Here you can see the program. And this, I've already loaded it up and it's located under the LabVIEW installation folder. It's under Program Files, National Instruments, LabVIEW version, VI Lib, LabVIEW interface for Arduino, firmware, LabVIEW interface for Arduino base folder. 
and the file is called lvfa underscore base dot pde. And if we download it to the Arduino, actually it's called upload here, we upload it, you'll see the status saying uploading to IO board. Again, this must be done before you can actually use LabVIEW with the Arduino. You'll get some status messages here, and it should say done uploading. This is a simple example I quickly put together to show how to use the LabVIEW interface for Arduino. If you're familiar with the 1980s TV show Knight Rider, there was a, a car on that show with, which had scrolling LEDs on its hood. The car was called Kit, and this software simulates the scrolling LEDs found on that car. So if we run the program, you'll see that the scrolling LEDs scroll left and right. Let's take a look at the code. Here we initialize the Arduino to COM2, which is where I'm connected to. I initialize 12 of the digital I.O. lines as outputs. Here I initialize an array of LEDs, an LED pattern, and I'm making a, an array of LEDs that are all false. And here I'm indexing through the LEDs, replacing three LEDs uh, and making them true, and uh, scrolling that uh, those three LEDs from left to right and right to left. Finally, I'm writing this LED pattern to the output lines. While inside this loop, I'm also reading an analog input of the Arduino, which is connected to a, a voltage divider or potentiometer that uh, is feeding that zero to five volt signal into one of the analog inputs. And I'm outputting that voltage here on the screen. At the end, I close the Arduino and I'm done. So as you can see here, we have the Arduino hooked up to about 12 LEDs and a potentiometer, which is connected in a simple voltage divider setup to five volts which is provided from the Arduino into one of the analog inputs. If I adjust the potentiometer to the left, you'll see that the scrolling LEDs scroll by faster. And then if I turn the potentiometer to the right, the voltage increases and thus the delay increases in our while loop. So the LEDs scroll by slower. One last thing I'd like to show in this tutorial is all the various VIs that are available in the palette that gets installed with the LabVIEW interface for Arduino. Here's, here's a summary of all the different palettes available. The top level palette contains the init VI and the close VI, and then there's three, uh, there's actually four sub palettes between the top level palette. The examples one is very good to, that you should take a look at to get started. There's examples for analog read, temperature reading, photocell, generating tones, controlling RGB LEDs, seven segment displays, thumbstick readback, and a light show example. These examples are very good. They have on the block diagram uh, documentation, including wiring diagrams on how you can connect your Arduino to the various sensors used in the example. There's a specific sensors palette that allows you to convert analog input readings from the Arduino to temperature, uh, light intensity, and there's uh, various uh, LED sensor uh, management here. There's also seven segment dis display where you can actually um, feed in a string and it'll output a seven segment display uh, output. There's uh, thumbstick sensors where you can control a thumbstick value to uh, XY um, coordinates. There's a specific uh, sub palette here for the Blink M. Blink M is a three color LED sensor that's programmable and is popular in the lab in the um, in the Arduino community. In the low level palette is where you could actually break out all the different lines of the Arduino. You can uh, sp select specific analog input lines. You can read an entire port. The same with the digital IO lines. You can configure them as uh, inputs, outputs, and read or write uh, an entire port or individual lines. And here you can also control the PWM uh, lines on the Arduino using these VIs. A sub palette of the low level is the SPI interface, and there's also the I squared C. Thank you for watching this video. Remember that all the code shown is available for download on the VI Shots website. Hopefully, the tutorial was helpful and gave you some ideas that you can use in your own LabVIEW software development. Thank you, and bye for now.